minutes. See, I got to turn my singing in. Because I'll go over I do it with my dance videos. There you That's go. Sorry to do it. I want to thank everyone again for coming. Uh, this, this part of my uh, module, I guess you could say, uh, is very important to me because gardening started from way back when I used to go back and, and visit my grandmother and grandfather down in Mississippi. But uh, gardening is, is more for, uh, we want to get everybody involved in gardening. Uh, or a lot of people involved. I know some people will not, are not gardeners, but not only for adults, but more in particular for the kids in the area to get, get into gardening and learn how to grow food and also how to work together. You know, there are some biotech people that re-engineered corn, and now the bugs don't even want the corn. <laughs> That's right. Right. Do you right. want corn? I know I don't. Want <laughs> so now we have to start growing our own stuff from our own backyards. And so this is what I would like to do. I have a garden in my backyard. I fed five families in, mine and my four sisters. Oh, there's one other person, my in-laws. There's six people. <laughs> now, everybody in this room that had a garden could feed, feed at least five people extra people and good and healthy food. That's what my goal is. Okay? We would like to, that's what we were talking about is getting a garden in everybody's backyard. But there's something else. Once you have a garden in your backyard, what do you do with the with the vegetables? You gotta know how to cook it. Maybe we'll have a seminar on Mrs. Hampton's how she we will. makes collard greens. <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> Because I can use some tips. <laughs> or, or maybe we can have someone come in and teach us about once that food on the vine goes bad or before it goes bad. Because what happens is we eat enough collard greens, we're sick of them, we got it, tomatoes, we're sick of them. And what do they do? Right, right. right. right on the vine. That's right. Next step is to have someone come out and teach us about how to store the food for the winter. Absolutely. I have a uh, uncle that said that he hasn't been to uh, a grocery store to get vegetables for the last three years. Because he knows how to store it. Uh -huh. It's just him and his wife, and he has a big plot. He's got more stuff in it than you would believe. So that's what we want to do. The next thing is I want to get there, some other people involved uh, we, uh, in community, uh, the community, the government, agencies, some stores that will supply us, help us to supply us with the seeds and the other equipment, because we're going to need quite a few uh, you know, rakes and 